Welcome to this video guys. Let's see the two ways to reset your Visual Studio Code. So first, if you can open your Visual Studio Code, this is the way that you can use. But if you're not able to open Visual Studio Code, I'll show you another way. So first, open your Visual Studio and click on Settings and then click on this Settings here. And now click on this icon that says Open Settings. Here you'll see a bunch of files. So it has all your settings and all your extensions and everything. So what you can do is just delete everything. Press Ctrl to select everything and delete everything. And then just type this. So this is because this is a JSON file. And if you don't type curly braces like this, there will be an error. Now save it. And now you can close it and restart your Visual Studio code. And every of the settings will be reset. Okay, so this was the case if you can open your Visual Studio code. But if you're not able to open your Visual Studio code, you'll have to open that settings.json file manually. To do that, just press Windows R and this run dialog will appear. Again, uh, you have to enter the path here. So I'll just have this in the description. You can just copy and paste from there. So the path is add two percentages and then type user profile and then type app data and then type roaming and then code and then user. Now hit enter. This folder will open where you'll have this settings.json, right? So I've already removed everything from here. So let's undo that so that you can see what actually is there. OK, so now what you can do is once you are here, just right click on this settings.json and open it with notepad or any editor you want. Once it's open, again, you can do the same thing. Delete everything and then just enter opening curly brace and ending curly brace. Save and then close this. And now if you open your Visual Studio code, you can just close this, and open your Visual Studio code again, and all of the settings will be reset. So this is how you can reset settings in Visual Studio code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.